Hey guys, John Loxley here, back with our blind playthrough of Undertale. Core end. That's right, let's check out our items real fast. We have that. Because we just beat Metaton EX. That brings up a question, right? Why get the key to go back and find that there's the soul of a ghost inside Metaton? Like, that didn't come into play at all. Maybe they just forgot about it or something. Also, I was thinking about the, um... Oh, excuse me. I need more coffee. Um... I was thinking about the fact that we need, to need a human and a monster soul to pass through the barrier. I mean, I wonder if we could just... Like walk through it together, you know? Um, maybe it's... The intro to games have to be careful because they often spoil the game. Uh, especially in the case of, like, Nier, where it shows scenes from... Or or maybe any Yoko Taro game where they, they spoil the game. Occasionally. Especially if you... You know, it's the first thing that starts up and you watch it and you're like, oh, this is cool, or the music is cool, or whatever, but... But as you play, you start to put the pieces together, so they have to be careful. I'm wondering if they made a mistake with this one as well, where... Because I've been wondering this since the beginning. It shows, like, baby Toriel, I think, and baby this guy, or girl, as, like... Maybe not representatives, but... Allies or something? It's It's hard to say. So I'm wondering if that is kind of how we go through because Toriel's still alive you know uh, so maybe she'll show up to help me get through the barrier or maybe I'll just be like yo Asgore just uh let's not fight dude let's let's go through you know we will see no floor selection just click and go I've been wondering about that a little bit just like how because everything else has been fairly um unique so I hope the ending is too also that was definitely a long like they made you wait on purpose here like that elevator going up took what 20 seconds maybe so it's like, it's given us a moment to, to pause and reflect and be like, oh, we're almost there. This looks like a city. All right, save point. Castle elevator. So we're in the castle. Are we... We're in the castle that's... Are we supposed to take this elevator somewhere? The elevator is in use, which means probably like a little dungeon to go to or go through, I'm sorry, and then uh and then this will loop back around here right before the final boss. Presumably. Oh nice parallax is it parallax scrolling? Is that how it is where you have the different layers of the backgrounds moving at different speeds? This whole area looks dead though, doesn't it? It's all gray. Concrete. I mean, there's buildings and stuff, but... Leaves. So that doesn't make sense. I feel like this was kind of like the ruins, except there was that black, the void tree in the middle. And another, yeah, yeah, it looks exactly like it. New home. Right, they said something about that, right? But Asgore named it home, and then he took us away out of the ruins, and that was new home or something, right? Makes sense that it looks... Exactly the same yellow flowers over there. 
The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. So the garden is the stairs down. Kitchen and hallway. It's a golden flower. Golden flower, not yellow. Is flowy a golden flower? Okay, another one. Yeah, this looks exactly like Toriel's area. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anyone uses it. The coals are still warm. There are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Seems like gardening tools. Ah, a long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Maybe we are in a time loop. Maybe I'm Asgore. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. That's gross. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. It's a note. Howdy. Help yourself to anything you want. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Cool. Uh, the stovetop is very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. It's a trash can. It's full of crumpled up recipes for butterscotch pie. Yeah, I figured Asgore was the brother. Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Azriel. Azriel, that's that's like a biblical biblical name, I believe. So a kid fell down, cried out, injured. Yeah, that's the other thing. I'm surprised we're not. But then again, this could be purgatory or something. It's hard to say. Hmm. Dusty toys. So this is the room. Do we want to check the gifts? What a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not ever get up. There's two beds. In the original... Or in the ruins room, there was only one. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. In the ruins, I think it was empty, wasn't it? There are a lot of striped shirts in here. Striped shirts like the one I'm wearing? It's a twin size bed. There's a heart shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Should I? See what's in the other one first. A worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Um, so basically weapon, final weapon, final armor. Um, I'll keep the weapon I have because I'm not planning on attacking or anything. I guess I'll take the, you got the heart-shaped locket. I feel like maybe that's another choice, like but then again, he did say take anything we need, we want, but that was in the kitchen. Maybe not in the rooms. I don't know. Heart Locket Armor 15 says best friends forever. Yeah, I feel like that's important. And also a worn dagger. There is that knife or something that I didn't pick up in the ruins. Ah, uh, heart locket. You equip the locket. Because the stained apron heals us. But armor defense 11 versus 15. If it's straight damage, like if, if 
Uh, if the locket prevents an extra four damage, that might be worth it on its own. Right? So we'll put, uh... Put the stained apron away. Also, we still have the snowman piece. I wonder if that's gonna come into play at some point. Golden flower. Golden flower. Golden flower. Room under renovations. The same one. Over time, Asriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Hmm, so what happened? Was that when they were in the ruins still? They must have before they came here. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Mm-hmm. So this was, I believe, Toriel's room in home. Or, no, maybe it's the other one. Maybe it was the middle one that was Toriel's room and this one was under renovations. It's Asgore's journal. All the current page says is, nice day today. The ink is still almost wet. Yep. It's a king-size bed. That makes sense. King-size bed for a king. There's a bureau. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says, Mr. Dad Guy. So he's got kids? It's a trophy, number one Nose Nuzzle Champs 98, 20 years ago. Or, maybe, I mean, for this year, yeah. But this takes place in 2000, between 2010 and 2020. So, 10 to 20 years ago. Still, that's, you know, something to be proud of if you're a Nose Nuzzler. All right, we have both keys. You unlock the chain. Now we... There's an old calendar from the end of 21X. A date is circled on it. From the end of 2001X. Isn't that supposedly when we fell through? What's the date? Is that today? Hmm. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Yep. Human died. Presumably. The sick human had only one request. To see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Hmm. That's really sad. See, they're softening me up for, like, the, the nice the knife in the gut. The next day, the human died. The human died, yep. Uh, maybe that's the golden flowers. Azrael, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. and became twisted in their grief. With a human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. Uh, carried the human's body back into Earth and the sunset back to the village of humans where he was killed by them, probably. Or where they turned on him or something. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Asriel holding the human's body. Yep. They thought he had killed the child. Yep.
The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Uh, Hazrael had the power to destroy them all. But... There's Jack. But Azrael did not fight back, of course. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Hmm. It's not how I expected it to go. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Oh, because they turned to dust. But he has a human soul, right? Shouldn't those linger on then? Hmm. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. Hmm. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With, with enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. That's kind of... Hmm. So is the king Asgore? It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will save us all. Yep. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? This is... Yep, here, here it comes. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? It's twisted. A little bit twisted. Also, the music stopped. You're going to be free. I will destroy Spira. I will save Spira. It's like the Final Fantasy X thing. Okay, right, here, here's the elevator, presumably. To take us back to the save point. So that we can save. Castle elevator, got it. Appreciate it. We're going to be free. Now the question is, if I die, does it give me a game over again? Or is it like, oh, here's the ending. Or a ending, right? Like with, um... Chrono Trigger. It's like you die to Lavos and it's like the future refused to change. Oh, another save point. Last corridor. Your last chance. Alright, there's the Delta Rune. Yeah, monster and angel. Angel of light, angel of death, whatever. Oh, am I not moving? This is the garden, huh? Oh, it's Sands. Is he the king? So you finally made it. But that doesn't make sense if Sans is the king. The end of your journey is at hand, unless he's just like, hey man, I'm here to see you off. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together. You will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. I took two pieces of candy, I'm sorry. You will be judged for every experience you've earned. Fair enough. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. Oh shit! A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. Interesting. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. That doesn't make sense. But Flowey actually said it stands for love, right? Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. 
The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. Huh. That makes sense. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. Uh, yeah, but I still feel bad about the candy. A little bit. You refuse to hurt anyone. Did I ever use it? Because I still have one piece in the, uh, in the inventory. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. I don't know about that. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Sure, maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Jesus, and I thought Metaton was bad. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. <laughs> so as long as you hold on. So as long as you do what's in your heart. I believe you can do the right thing. All right. Ah, oh, excuse me. Well, counting on you, kid. Good luck. Why are my hands so sweaty? I wonder if it's like the temperature outside or something, because it's been colder lately. Like I have cracks on my hands. Oh, and the Delta Rune's above this door, too. Should I... You know what, let's go back and save, just so we don't have to go through that little monologue again. I think that would be important. Level of violence, huh? Time is going well. Weird. All right. We have a sign. Throne room. What happened to the garden? Throne entrance. What is this way? Can I just avoid the king and just leave? Oh no. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. John. It's empty. Well. Oh yeah, my heart is red. Those are all the other ones. All the souls, right? And it's the latest one. It's ready for me. That's kind of twisted. So is Asgore the... Father of Asriel? That's the question, right? So he brought back golden flowers. Dum dee dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. You know, it's weird, right? Because they tell you. Sans is like, you know, you're going to be judged. You have, uh. You haven't hurt anyone. Blah blah blah, but now you're after, you're gonna have to fight him, and you're gonna have to choose between getting killed and humans being destroyed or trapping all the monsters forever. And it's like, mm. I mean, first off, no, I don't think that's the actual choice we have to make, but we'll see, we'll see. I think there, I mean, there's. It seems like there's another way. Here we are. 
Howdy! How can I? Oh, you're a human. Oh. He does look like Toriel, though. He's even wearing the little, like, the angel symbol or whatever. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? He doesn't want to kill, but he's trying to save his people, right? Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Where's the sun coming from? I mean, that's the thing. Couldn't they just drill around the barrier or something? You know what we must do? When you are ready, come into the next room. All right, let me go save again. A cornered fox is more powerful than a jackal. It's a throne. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. Yeah, that's sad. And there's a save point right here, which is nice. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. And this looks exactly like where we started, too. Except there aren't flowers there. Another save point. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. Yeah, I mean... The end. Yep, there is your last chance. Objective. Survive. You think it's going to work in the title somewhere? Some games do that, where they're like... Mission end of the road or the line you know spec ops the line or whatever it's like here's the line Ooh. It, this is the barrier it's like um it's like the path from the lord vessel into the kiln of the first flame with all the the ghosts of the black knights walking through this is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, there's that door that I never managed to get into. Please do what you must. Continue or go back? We'll continue. I see. This is it then. Ready? Ah. A strange light fills the room. Oh, don't click. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. Do I click this time? Because the text was auto-advancing that last time. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Really? Just like that? Whoa. Oh! Can he do that? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Fight or talk. Talk's our only option. Let's do that. You quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Oh, snap. Oh, s whoosh. Wait. I didn't take damage there. You tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. 
Not quietly anymore. His breathing gets funny for a moment. All right, whoa, oh, ouch. Okay, that hurt. Ouch, that, I went. <laughs> I walked right into it that time. You firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. A recollection flashes in his eyes. Asgore's attack dropped. Asgore's defense dropped. All right, oh, okay, watch out. Oh, no. All right, we are, oh, jeez. Ah, I bet you have to talk. I bet you can't, like, use items. Drink the star fate. I didn't realize you drank it. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, oh no, oh no. All right, well, uh. Was the, okay. The flashing thing, was that like a, I never played Punch-Out, the original, but I think that's what Mike Tyson did. Like he blinked right before he did his knockout punches. That's kind of how that feels. Also, just FYI, everything that I'm mentioning about like, you know, is such and such a reference to this. There's this thing called cryptonesia, kind of like amnesia, except crypto is like you don't remember, basically. So you might be totally influenced, like deeply influenced by something and then recreate that thing. And it's almost exactly the same. And you're like, this is the most amazing thing ever. But you don't remember it's from something else. So he might be doing this on purpose. He might not. It might just be random coincidence. Who knows? Okay, talk. Seems talking won't do any more good. All right. Uh, yep. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Okay. We're going to keep talking because that's the only option we've got. Talking won't do any more good. All right. Let's go this way, then. Let's check. 80 attack, 80 defense. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, man, no, man, no, man. <laughs> but I'm taking like four per hit, so I'm gonna use another Star Fate. Drink the Star Fate. HP maxed out. Okay. Ah, crap. Right. I realized it was like blue, orange, orange, and I stayed still for the blue because I couldn't remember immediately. Talking won't do any more good, but I'm going to. Whoa. Oh, hey. That's fine, whatever, we're gonna... Hmm. Do I have to fight? Right. There was something about weakening them, right? Like you have to hit them a little bit. Maybe I should have taken the knife, but whatever. Um, wait, what was I supposed to do there again? I don't remember. Uh, what it? Oh, jeez. Yeah, oh, hey, it's rotating. That's... That's good, I suppose. All right, lots of oranges, so we just keep moving. Ah, oh, ooh, I'm slow, too. Okay, well, well, we'll try weakening him a little bit. Ouch. Oh, I'm toast. Oh, I'm... Ooh, hey. It didn't kill me, though. Oh. Got hit. down. Drink the star fate. Yep. All right. Well. Oh. 
I felt like that should have been right on the money, though. Oh, whoa, 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 it's getting faster. Faster! Ah! Come on, man, just, it's getting a lot faster. Are we supposed to lose? Oh. Okay. Well. Come on, dude. Um. Yeah, you can't spare him either. Ah. Well, I guess this is it. I'm not using the snowman piece. Just keep moving. Hey, wait, where did the blue one come from? It was all oranges. Oh, wow. All right. Whoa. Come on, dude. This is it. We're toast. Yep, toast. Yep, it's over. Game over. So you actually have to beat him, I guess. Don't lose hope. Yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> um, alright. Sweaty hands, man. John, stay determined. Should I go back and get the knife? I'm gonna say no. Uh, let's see, sell. We will... Put the snowman piece in there. And then we will... Grab, uh... Uh... Yeah, well, what are we gonna get? What do we, what do we want? Let's get a... Nice cream and a cinnamon bun. Can I just skip this part? Ready? Yes. Yep. All right. Uh, we'll talk. Tell Esgor he's killed you once before. He nods sadly. Really? How does that even work? Okay, so he's weakened. Ah! Oh my god, I suck. Basically, stay in the middle and stop getting hit by those freaking things. Let's try talking again. You tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His breathing gets funny for a moment. Can I... Firmly tell Asgore to stop fighting. Recollection flashes in his... Oh. Like we've done this before. Asgore's attack and defense dropped. Is it lower than 80 now? Do I just... 
Is it just you keep dying? Is that how it works? You keep dying and not staying dead? Talking won't do any more good. Let's let's look. I want to see this new attack and defense. Still 80. Ah. So maybe it's 80 depending on whether it Like maybe that's his base or normal. No, it seems like that's about... Blue, 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 don't move. It seems like this is about the normal... Okay, hey, 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 hey! Oh, Jesus. Drink the Star Fate, you recovered. Okay... Also, I think we're supposed to get it right in the middle, right? I don't know. Yeah. All right. How many is that? Like four? Three? Oh, man, and they... Ugh, those little things are tough because, like, they don't follow the pattern. They move as a group, not individually. Ten. All right, dodged that successfully. That must be a perfect one. Ouch! Oh yeah, we're we're hurting. Ah, uh, you see it's. You've got to be kidding me. Hmm. I think I got hit on that last one. <sighs> See, I know they told us. Oh, come on. I can't move fast. And I have no idea why my hands are so freaking sweaty. I'm really annoyed by this. It's not just this game either. It was doing it before. And those things move too. It's like you think you're safe, but they're still moving. I'll take it. Oh my gosh. Super spiffy. Great. seem to be doing more damage as oh maybe landing on the greens is what you're supposed to do <sighs> eat the cinnamon bunny sorry cinnamon bunny I'd 
really rather not, you know, Asgore has low HP. All right, that's important. Seems talking won't do any more good. Well, come on, man. Oh yeah, yep, no more items. I'm um, toast. All right. Ah. So that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. Okay, so he is the king. Or that king. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. Is his wife Toriel? She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Mercy's broken, but I'm still doing it, man. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer. I didn't say that, I don't think. Then live happily on the surface. To be fair, we don't know what my character's home life is like. Home isn't always home, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's like my brother. He's not really my brother, but I call him my brother because I chose him as family. Rather than some of the family I have is, some of the blood family is not great. Let's put it that way. You know, my little sister, she's the one that got me this game. She's cool. My mom's cool too. Older sister, eh. I mean, she's fine, but little... One of those people that only is very considerate of herself. It's all about her. Doesn't mean it when she hurts others, but she kind of runs over other people because she's not thinking about them. You know, dad, on the other hand. All right. Human. I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. Did I hit him on the head? Is he... Like, his wife left, dude. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like... family. Like a family. So that next... Oh, Flowey. Yep. Flowey's taking his soul, and all the... Oh. That's his soul. Yep. You idiot. You haven't learned a thing. In this world... Oh, he's taking all the human souls. It's kill or be killed. Yep. Uh... 
it crashed. Or maybe that was supposed to happen. So, okay, I guess um, we'll stop for today. I don't know if the game crashed or if that was how it was deliberately. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what happens. Um, thank you guys so much for, you know, your time and attention and stuff. It's, I guess we'll see. That's weird. I hope it didn't crash, but anyway, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's it for today. Thank you guys. <laughs> uh, huh. Well, I hope I have all my healing items back cause I'm going to need them to fight him presumably. Would that have happened? I assume, even if Flowey, like if I just chose to kill him, what then? Would Flowey still show up and kill him and destroy the, the soul? Because he's a boss monster, his soul lingers on a little bit. So Flowey could have taken the soul as well, I suppose. Um, what is your guys' unique positive moment for today? Um, I had one before I started this. Can't always see. It's a challenge, right? You, you're before I do this, I think of one. That way, when I get to the end here, I'm like, oh, I have, I have this. You know, I, I forgot it. Just, uh, I mean, you know, I'm gonna cook. I'm gonna cook beef after this, so that'll be, uh. I guess that's my unique positive moment. It was something along those lines. It was cooking. So that's my unique positive moment. It doesn't have to be great. It's just got to be a small positive one. Um, but that's that's mine. I hope your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I forgot to stop yawning. I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care. <laughs>